I think the biggest lesson is don't talk down to them, right? Treat them as equals. They have something to say. Don't think of just force feeding them things. It's like, they're gonna like this, it's the audience. No, they are gonna tell you what they like and dislike and then you gotta listen to it. That's the sort of thing of like, you don't need big institutions to do your market research for you. All you gotta do is ask your audience and there are all these great tools to allow you to do it. I mean, you have to listen to your audience. Um, we did a campaign during one of our award shows where we said, you know, send us pictures, videos of your, uh, your viewing party. So it's a, an award show called Premier Soup and Tube. And instead of showing pictures of, uh, you know, people gathered around the TV, they were showing us pictures of their favorite artist, the t-shirt about their favorite artist, a sign, I love so-and-so, I love Ricky Martin, I love Shakira. And we had to quickly make the call to action on air to say, they really want to show their love for their fans. So instead of send us your picture of your viewing party, show us what you, how you want to support your favorite artist. And to make that live call to action and work in concert with the television producers to say, we asked them X, but they're showing us Y. Let's not keep asking them X. Let's work with them and what they want to do. And that was such a, a turning point and revelation for people, again, around the, instead of creating content for, create content with our audience. The biggest lesson I've learned is that not every campaign is the same and you can't treat every campaign with a cookie cutter. So if it works for, for me for a television show, if it works for one TV show, it doesn't mean that that same execution, that same piece of creative, that same promotion is going to work for another show. Every community is very different. That fan base is very different. They love to be spoken to in a different way. Um, so I, I think the biggest lesson is to know that you can't just do the same thing for every single project that you're working on. There needs to be innovation, there needs to be experimentation, and you really need to listen to that fan base to know what it is that they want to engage with and what they like. I think the biggest lesson is really that the consumer is the CEO of content. The consumer feels that they are in control. And what businesses really need to do is honor that and treat them that way, not try to insult their intelligence by telling them or forcing them what to do or marketing their way to change behavior. I think what media and businesses really need to do is serve the customer now. What we have found is that it, when we find the right people and put the product message campaign into their hands and let them do what they do, which is tell the story about why that product is good for them in their own words and get out of their way, that's when we see the power of, of social media. And it's just amazing to watch and really cool to be a part of. What we hope to learn is to be very, very good listeners and to put things out there that people can do things with and make the things that we put out something that they can improve upon and play with and talk about and share or just have a good time with, that's the goal. That's all we could really hope for. You, know, you, you, want to be, you want to be culturally and emotionally relevant, as technical as that sounds. So if we can create things that are, again, honest, authentic, and here's a word that a lot of people I don't think are using because we're with people who are very much metric focused. Many things that are just fun. They're just fun and they're beautiful. If it's fun and it's beautiful and it's emotionally relevant, people are going to interact and tell you what they think and share it and have fun with it. And that's the name of the game.